Without a backward glance, this bull bounded out of the trailer and charged across the prairie toward his new family of eight females and one male calf. The ladies were like, who is that handsome man? <laughs> and they came running for him, which was really fun. In their size and their movement, um, they're really impressive animals. They are an exclusive group of bison from Yellowstone National Park, one of the few places in America you will find genetically pure bison with no trace of cattle genes. You help kind of preserve this line of bison that were more similar to the ones that were here before Europeans arrived. And for many people, that's really important to preserve. In Jennifer Barfield's animal reproduction lab, tanks of liquid nitrogen are home to hundreds of pure bison embryos and sperm samples to be used for artificial insemination and surrogate parenting. We can preserve those really valuable genetics, but also that in doing so, we can produce animals that do not have brucellosis. Brucellosis is a big threat to bison. It's a contagious bacterial disease that causes abortions. The bacteria almost single-handedly hampered bison conservation efforts, but these bison are safe. And then we incorporate in embryo washing and washing of the sperm as well to ensure that when we create new offspring that the disease is not there. And already the herd has grown by six calves. I'm Jessica Sanchez reporting.